So I've been having quite a lot of fun on Rocket League recently playing with my friends and yeah, I've been on my friend's stream quite a bit and just having a good time playing it. So hopefully at least some of you want to see this crossover again here because we are doing a different style of crossover today. We are going to be doing it based on the score that I get through two games of Rocket League. So let's say for example I queue into a threes game and I get 210 as my score, then the player's number has to contain a 2 in it, has to contain a 1 in it, or because 0, I'm going to count that as it can be below 9, or it can be 10, 20, 30, you know, obviously those kind of numbers because they have a 0 in it. Let's go find out how we will do in Rocket League, and let's see what scores we get, what numbers we get to pick from. Alright, it is time to do the League of the Rocket Powered Battle Cars. I'm going to jump into some 3s games here, and then what we are going to be doing is, based on my score, that will be the- that was an awful flick. So based on my score, what we're going to be doing is choosing who I draft pretty much. So let's say I get a score of 250, then I could take someone whose jersey number starts or oh he's not going up for that. Never mind. Oh, he was going up for it. He just missed it. You know what? I'm just going to do the explaining of the score stuff in the NHL part because I'm in the game now and this boy got a focus. Let's go. That's a huge Is it going to come down? It is going to come down. It is going to come down a little bounce shot. Boom. There it is. So what score are we at right now? 182. Not bad. So that means I would get, you know, if someone that has a 1 as the first or second part of their number. Or they could just be number 1, I suppose. And then same goes for 8 and 2. So yeah, that's the objective here. I pretty much want to try and get triple digit scores in both games. And on top of that, I want to try and get different numbers so that I have more variety. Oh my word, that was on the line. That was scary. Definitely not a fan favorite of that situation right there. Let's go. Oh, big save. He missed it. He actually just missed that. All right. I mean, I'll gladly take it. I'm not going to complain. Also, this guy's name on our team is We Aren't Smurfs 1. And for the first time, I actually believe it. Up the wall. Let's get a little touch on that. Go for the double, perhaps? No way. This is a sick and cruel game. All right. Is one of you guys going to get that? No, of course not. Why would you? I believe in you guys. Let's go. We got this. We're up by two, three minutes to go. I'm literally calming this like it's an NHL game right now, which I assure you, it is not. He's coming for the demo. I There's really not much I could do there, honestly. I probably could have pre-jumped the guy, but he was coming in ferociously. And I must admit, it was quite intimidating. This guy right here, he's like, huh? I'm like, I'm dipping. No siree. All right, I'm behind you, Smurfs. I'm behind you. Get a nice touch. That is a great touch. Clocked. Ooh, that was a good pass, too. Unfortunately, I wasn't really up, though. And let's try to beat him to that. That was sort of laggy, almost, I want to say. Flocked is going to absolutely smash this thing. Oh, all right. It's coming way back here. That, where'd that guy come from? Got it. Going to around the wall there. Nice little outage. And try to dunk him, but fail miserably. Oh, what a pass from Clocked. Mm, that's wide. What a shot, mate. There we go. Take that save. Yeah, these guys on the other team are pretty nuts as well, so... Yeah, let's see if my teammates are more nuts or not. I don't know what that pinch was, but that was amazing. <laughs> I have no idea how I got that. No, don't don't you dare. Don't you absolutely dare. Yes, clocked. Let's go, buddy. Let's go. Nice. Fire me vertical. One minute to go. We just got a hat trick. I'm now at... How did that happen? That was the pinch of a lifetime. The absolute pinch of a lifetime. I'm going to count that as a fourth goal for me. Because, are you kidding? Look at this. Boom. Absolute snipe show. A corner, too. If, if there was one of those little hockey, you know, corner things that you attach to the net, that was hitting it. So, unfortunately, our lead is down to one now with 34 seconds to go. We got Austin Matthews on the clock. Oh, that's not a great touch from their team. That's a better touch from their team, but still not going to... I'll let you have that clock. I was about to try and steal that. What a demo from Smurfs as well. He's going to have that. No, I'm not going to challenge. He's got that. Back to the corner. And nice. That was a good 50. He's going to get that. Smack it away from his teammate. That's all you... No! I thought one of my teammates would go up for that. Any whiffs. Any whiffs. That's coming in. It's coming in. Huh. No. Oh! They could have had that. Oh my days, that would have been absolutely wild. But there we go, so game number one. Let's see what I ended up with. I think did pretty good there, but 
doesn't really matter. It's just the numbers anyway. 804. So basically anyone under the number 10 I can take. And then anyone who has a 4 in their number or is number 4 or anyone who has an 8 in their number. So let me mark that down quick. I'm here to personally assure you that this does not happen every game. I'm gonna be the 80 next time. The moment of truth is clock. Oh, clock does... Oh, wait, yeah, we got clocked on our team again, it looks like. Just smack that into the middle. Our teammate was playing defensive, which is probably smart there anyway. I'm gonna kind of turn here because I saw that their whole team... Oh, that was a little too much. I'm gonna try to just center this again. It's gonna come off the wall. I'll go up for it. Ooh, I probably should have left that for my teammate, but I'm scarred now because every time I do leave it, they never go up for it, and it usually results in a goal somehow. All right, that's gonna work for me. Sort of teed me up there. This is the ninth hole, and Hadouken. There we go. That was not really the boom I was looking for, but it was still all right. Nice. Oh, I'm stealing that. Nah, you know, I'll be a good guy. I'll be a good guy. I was going to. I really wanted to. It took every fiber of my being not to rob this man of his goal, but I did it. It's coming around. Just smack it towards the net there. I'm gonna pop it up. I'll try to just do something. I don't know. Pass over to him, maybe. And another chance for a boom. Love it. That's gonna... I maybe would have gone for the double tap. Absolutely wouldn't have hit it because that's not, you know, that's not me. I don't hit double taps, but really... Uh, can I time this? Yes, I can. Let's just destroy that back to their end. Not let them get any kind of attack going here. That's the plan. Nice shot. No! How'd that not go in? Wow, that was unreal. Oops. Alright, he kind of bumped me into that, but... That was an awful touch on my part. I should not have... Did yeah. This if this is a goal, 100% my bad. Nice touch off the backboard there. Dorma, let's go. Oh, that's a free net. They, like, quadruple committed, and there's only three of them. Oh, there we go. There's a W. Well, that was easy enough, I suppose. Let's see what I ended up getting. That Dorma teammate was absolutely wild. So I got 226. That's lame. So at least I got a 2 and a 6, which I didn't get before. But, unfortunately, I doubled down on the 2s, so... Oh, well. It is what it is. That actually went pretty well. And, funny enough, we are counting by 2s. The numbers that I get to pick from are 0, 2, 4, 6, and 8. It just happened to work out that way. Which draft position will we obtain here? I've been kind of all over the place recently, but let's go with 13. Just a random pick there. Perhaps I will get close again. I was not close. Where are we? Oh, 11. Well, actually, I was pretty close then. Huberdeau is number 11. Unfortunately, that's a no-go. Hedman is number 77. That is also a no-go. That's the top two players on the board right now. We can take Artemi Panarin at 11 million. Oh, boy. I mean, he probably... I don't know how he sims in this game, actually. I'm not too sure. I think Marner sims pretty good. He's number 16, right? Yeah. So, we can take him because he has a 6 in his number. And I really feel like I haven't drafted him very frequently at all. So, let's go ahead and take Marner. So, I think the way this draft works, then, is if their number is over 9, then basically they have to have at least one even number in it. That's sort of the way it works. Honestly, I'm probably wrong about even that, but... Who knows? Okay, 91. Unfortunately, we cannot take Stamkos. I should have just known he was 91. Let's go ahead and take Kuznetsov. Number 92, so he's got a 2 in there. We can draft him. 88 overall, and... Yeah, I mean, well... Hmm, this is tough. You know what? I'm gonna take Kuznetsov. I don't think I've drafted him very often. 71. Unfortunately, we cannot take Taylor Hall. We can, however, take Philip Forsberg because of the fact that he is a single-digit number, and we got a zero. What number is Jeff Petrie, please? Oh, yeah, that's beautiful. That's double whammy right there. We can double-take him, pretty much. Oh, thank you, number 14. There's a four in there. I'm taking at home for sure. I think it's about time we took a Tendi. Let's see who's left. Who dove in again? Really? All right, well, I mean, he always seems good for me, but he's number 35, so I can't even take him. What about Corpy Solo? Number 70. Yeah, that's a zero. We can take Corpy Solo. Hank is... I want to say 35. Okay, yeah, 35. And he is not draftable by us. Darn it. All right, well, anyway, we can take Corby Solo because he's got the zero there, so let's go ahead and take him. I'm just going to get our second goaltender out of the way right now. So who do we have left? Talbot, 3.3 million. He's number 33. Cannot take him. What about Halak? 41. He's got the four in there, so we can take him. If I remember correctly, he simulates pretty good. So let's take Halak. Sure, why not? Timothy Jimothy is unfortunately 77, so we cannot take him. Otherwise, I... 100% would have. We already know that. There's no questions asked there. What else do we have down here? Okay, we got Rust. 
84, 3.5 million. That's a pretty good contract. Number 17, can't take him. Toffoli, 73. Why? I mean, we can take Palat. He's making 5.3. He's 84 overall, 29. And yeah, he's number 18. He's got the eight in there, so we can take him. I don't really understand why Brian Rust always slips in these drafts, but regardless, Tom Wilson. What number is he again? I can't even remember. 43. He's got the four in there. Let's go. Tim Winston, baby. Granny. What is Granny Smith? 64. That's prime. We can double take him as well. 3.7 million. Not bad. Martinez, 23. There's a two in there. 4 million bucks. Sure. Why not? Oh, Zach Hyman. I can I really cannot remember any of these people's numbers for some reason. I'm blanking. Shattenkirk, number 22. 83. Basically 4 million. Yeah, let's let's sign him up. That way we have our first two defensive pairs at least. You know what? Just because why not? Let's take Boone Jenner. Number 38 got the eight in there so we can take him. Boom. That'll be our third line. Potentially fourth line center. We'll just see how the chemistry works. Yeah, we're gonna have to start trying to find some cheap contracts here because we are running out of cap space. 71. We cannot take Felino. That would have been a very good pick. Bobby Ryan. What number is Bobby Ryan? 54. He's got the four so we could take Bobby Ryan. Palmieri's got a two as well. Only making 2.3 so let's Sign Palmieri up. Coleman, number 20. We can double pick Coleman. <laughs> He's got the two and the zero. Prime. I feel like in this draft, we're taking a lot of people we don't normally take, which is cool. So it's going to be a much different team than we are used to. I know Bobby Ryan is someone that I normally go to. We can take Bobby's 82, making not a lot. So, uh, sniper, whatever, screw it. Let's take him anyway. See, we need two left wingers, and this would be absolute prime time to take Felino, but unfortunately... Not an option right now. Shiri is number 73, so that's not an option. What about Chandler? We got, oh yeah, 20. That's perfect. And I uh, wasn't making a whole lot. 2.7, that's doable. So sure, let's sign Stephenson up. Char's number 33, so that's not going to work. What about Demir's? Yeah, 55, that's not going to work either. Goldagoski, 5.4 million. Holy smokes. What about Jensen? 81. Number three, single digit. That works. Jumbo Joe, 97 now. We can't take him anyway, though, because, well, not only for the number, but I mean, we already have four centers. Technically, we could probably put one of the centers on the wing and vice versa, so I guess it's not that big of a deal, but anyway. I was actually going to take Josh Anderson just because, but number 17, so that's not going to happen. You know what? Just because, why not? I'm trying to take some different players here. Let's get Brock McGinn on the team. Number 23, so we've got the two in there. 79 overall. We'll make it work. We have $4.1 million to sign a defenseman here. Who will it be? We could take Coburn, perhaps. What number? 45. So, yeah. They got the four in there. And you know what? Actually, defensive defenseman. Yeah, let's sign up Coburn. 81. What? Cole, though. What about Cole? 28. Double whammy. This is tough. You know what? I'll take Cole. He's four years younger. Maybe he's got a little more hop in his step still. I really don't know. I... Have no reason to justify that. Draft is complete. Let's see our team here. You know what? I'm happy with our team. I think we're going to be pretty good. I'm also quite happy that it's, you know, a different team. It's not a, a lot of players here that we take very often. Halak, yeah. Petri, yeah. But I don't think Marner, Kuznetsov get picked too often. I really don't know if I've taken Forsberg very frequently either. Although I do like our team, it is a fantasy draft. And these computers typically know how to build, like, super squads. So we'll just see what happens. No, I'm not down for those dash ones. That's not happening. So I haven't had a whole lot of luck getting good chemistry on offense, but whatever. Defense, we got 5, 3, and 1, which is absolutely wild. And then we got, yeah, these two here. So that'll work out just fine. All right, predictions. Because I think I forgot maybe even the last couple times. But I'm going to say Marner gets the most points with 80. And I'm going to say our team gets 47, no, 46 wins with this team. So far, the squad's doing pretty good. 15, well, we're on a bit of a losing streak now that I try to say anything, so I'll just zip it. Never mind. Forget I was even here. I don't want to jinx it or anything, but we are currently first in the division. Could this be a President's Trophy year? I mean, we're going to have a collapse? Undoubtedly. But perhaps we could pull this off. You guys know my number one rule. If you're going to lose, at least try to lose in overtime, so that way we can steal a point. Okay, we got the trading block here. Let's keep our current trading block and enter the deadline just to see who is there, who is available. We've got Bobrovsky, Chara, Bernier, Hank, Saad, Bailey, Murray, Little, Dubnik, and Montour. All right, there you go. I think my prediction of 47 wins, or I think I said 46, actually. I don't even remember anymore. But either way, I don't think I'm going to be right. I'm pretty sure we're going to be hitting the...
48 mark, maybe even 49, depending on how we close out the season here. All right, I guess we're going to be hitting the 50 mark. 50? Yeah, and we still have four games left. Holy crap, man. This team ended up doing real well. I felt like we were stringing together a bunch of losses there, but apparently not as bad as I thought. We end up finishing with, I think that was 112 or 114 points. Might have been a President's Trophy. Let's have a look here. If we go to the stats, who led our team? We had Marner with 98. Guy simulates. Guy simulates for sure. 112. Okay, so we only had two more points than the Oilers, and we did get the present. Wait, am I lost? Hold on. I don't even remember. I don't remember our team anymore. I'm kind of just going through the things here. Okay, 112. Oh, they had 100. I thought they had 110. Okay, cool. So, yeah, I literally forgot which team we even were for a second there because I was so confused. Individual player stats. Marner with 98. Forsberg, 78. We got Kuznetsov with 77. That's a lot of bird celebrations there. Nice. Shattenkirk with 60. Martinez, 55. Palmieri, 49, 42. Yeah, that plus five on defense was probably huge. And then Wilson with the least amount of points with 10 and a dash five. Unbelievable time. I got a 79 overall. He really doesn't like that fourth line, huh? All right, well, sorry, Tom. And there you go. So maybe I'll try to jumble the lines up here a bit for the playoffs. Try to move Tim Winston back up. And maybe it will sort of redeem his overall. I know if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But I'm going to... Let's just see what happens here. Okay, Palmieri's down here now. Uh, mm, let's leave Palmieri on the fourth line, I suppose, at 82. Okay, what if I move... Oh, that's not good. What about if I move Boon Jenner up? That literally doesn't make a difference, so... There's no point of doing that. All right, whatever. Five, three, one, and then one zeros. Okay, let's do it. Let's go simulate the playoffs and see how we do. Hopefully, Tim Winston will go up in overall. If any of you guys haven't seen that joke, basically, it's Tom Wilson always gets suspended, especially in the playoffs, it seems. So, there was a sort of thing going around last year where they just put, like, a mustache on him and some glasses, and they said something about Tom Wilson's twin brother, Tim Winston, has been called up by the Washington Capitals. Come on, there we go. Round one is a success. Round number two. Come on. President's Trophy and Stanley Cup? There's no way. There's absolutely no way. Oh, yeah, we're done. We are... Oh, maybe not? Let's go! Wow! I thought we were done there for sure. Dallas, we're down 2 nothing, but I don't know whether to think that means series over or not anymore. Clearly not. Stanley Cup final against the Tampa Bay Lightning. Oh, boy. Oh... Okay, what's going to happen? Oh, they got the better of us. They did win the cup. Congrats to Tampa Bay. Marner putting up 34 points. Are you serious right now? This guy, 34 points in the playoffs is just obnoxious, really. Let's have a look at Tim Winston. I want to see if he went up in overall, actually. So he's at the very bottom here. Did he go up? He's back up to 82, so it kind of worked. I also realized I forgot to look at the entire league. So, wow, Tyler, relax. 122, Svechnikov with 101. They were playing together and absolutely annihilated the entire league. All right, well, there you go. Olafson's out there with 92. Good for him. Goalies, we have Allmark with 41 wins. Ranta, Vazzy's up there. Okay, there you have it. Awards the Tampa Bay Lightning with the Stanley Cup. Presidents goes to us. And then, yeah, obviously we saw that because we were in the finals. Sagan gets the Art Ross and the Hart. The Norris goes to Doughty. Lady Bing to T. Weiler. Jimmy Superstar gets the Calder. Con Smythe to Backstrom. Vazzy with the Vesna and the Jennings. The Masterton to Fowler. Osgood gets the Jack Adams. Barkov. Selkie. Sagan with the Lindsay. And with the Maurice Rocky Richard. So here's the playoff tree, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed that one. If you did, be sure to leave a like. Hopefully you guys are at least kind of enjoying some of the Rocket League gameplay. Hopefully I can make it entertaining for you. But I'm having fun playing it, so... As long as I'm having fun playing it, I'm probably not going to stop posting it. So sorry if you don't like it, but it is what it is. So yeah. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Comment, just who knows. I, whatever you feel like, honestly. Hope you have a good day. See you later.